Hey, how's everybody going? Good. Happy Saturday. All right. To your view tonight. You're like, what's in your hand? Peach margarita. Mm-hmm. Snow orange juice, man, and make a perfect fuzzy navel. But I digress. All right. Both of these are digital, so I'm going to start off with the graphic novel. So the first one is called Isola by Brendan Fletcher. I'm going to switch around so you can see the cover. Oh, this is volume two. Okay. So, that's the captain, and that's the queen as a tiger. Anyway, so I'm giving this three and a half stars. Extra half for the beautiful artwork. So, it's been a while since I read the first volume, but luckily I got, I kind of remembered everything when I read the second one. So, in this volume, the, caps, the captain's still... And I forget the captain's name. Jack's just going to call him her. The captain. So the captain is still on a mission to take the queen, who's a tiger, back to Isla, her hometown. Of course, nothing is ever simple. It's a straight path. So, of course, they encounter a lot of obstacles trying to get there. Um, meeting... Uh fellow comrades, uh, women who live in the mountains, and lastly, a witch. Very nasty witch, but I digress. And of course, it and is left wide open for volume three, if it ever comes out. But right now, there's another volume three out, sad face. Um, but yeah, that's the basic gist of the story. So, excellent story throughout. Like I said, I love the artwork. The artwork is amazing through it. Just, just wonderful um and it's a really it's a really good story i like it so and of course my favorite part was with the witch she's just evil witch and the captain took her forever to figure out that she was a witch but i but that's besides the point okay so that's my quick review of isola volume two oh, let me show you the picture again i and it's by brendan flood Brandon Fletcher, and I give it three and a half stars. All right, that's it for my first review. I'll be back for my second review in just a few moments. Yay!